Hey, what's going on everyone? As a developer, one common thing that always tends to be a headache is working with text layouts. So in this video, I want to show you one quick and easy way to make working with them a breeze. So let's go ahead and jump right into an example. Alright, so here I have a website that I was working on for my upcoming Nux3 course, so if you are interested in learning more about Nux3, be sure to head over to learnnux.dev and join the waitlist. So anyways, here on this website we have this header and then we also have a short little description. Now currently on the screen that I'm on, you can see that the header looks well balanced where we have two words on the top and then three on the bottom, so that looks good. Now for this description, as you can see, we have these two overhanging words here, which looks a little bit odd. Now, generally when it comes to text layouts, you want to avoid just having one or two words on a single line as it looks kind of odd. And you can kind of see this with our header if we do or we go to the inspect and we have it on a little bit smaller of a screen, you can see that we have this word of Nux just hanging off on one line and it just doesn't look that appealing. Now, over the years that I've been a developer, I've had the opportunity to work on quite a few projects and one thing that has remained consistent is changes that come back for things that look exactly like this where the client may be unhappy with how it looks on a certain device or they may want you to bump down this width to the next line so it looks a little bit more balanced and the same thing for description text. Now to fix this and properly balance out your text, I'm going to show you a newer one line solution. And before this to balance out your text, you had to resort to hack your solutions such as using a max width with media queries or even line breaks or even going as far as opting to use third party libraries. So earlier in the year, if you're watching this in 2023, we were introduced to a new CSS property called text wrap balance. And as the name suggests, it's going to balance out the text for you. So what this does is it now lets the browser figure out the best balanced line wrapping solution for your text. So since the browser knows all the factors like font size, language, and the allocated space available, it's going to result in much better text wrapping for your content. And here on the Chrome developer blog, which I'll leave a link down below in the description to, they have a really good example showing you exactly how this works. So before I play this video, you can see that right at the very top, we have a unbalanced header. And then below that, we have a balanced header. So right off the bat, you can see we have a much better balance between our two lines of content versus we have these two overhanging words right here. So if we play this, as you can see, the screen is going to shrink and it's going to result in just a much more balanced header. All right, so here inside of this project, we just want to apply that text wrap of balance to our H1 and also our paragraph tag. So since I am using Nux3 and this uses what is called a view component, what we want to do is come down to our style tag and we just want to target that H1 and paragraph tag. So we'll just say H1 and then also our paragraph tag. And then we just simply want to say text wrap and we want to set this to balance. And now here inside of our website, you can see that our header and our description text looks much more balanced. We don't have that overhanging content with a couple words. So we can kind of see this better if we just toggle the text wrap balance of on versus off. You can see how much better this actually looks. And as our screen continues to get smaller, it's just going to keep balancing it out to whatever the browser feels is the best. Now, although this property works really great, the one gotcha for it is that it's currently not available in every single browser. So if we come over to a site called caniuse.com for this property, you can see that the global usage is only 64% and you can see it's only supported in the following browsers. Now, even though this is not supported in every single browser at the time of making this video, I think it's still a good idea to keep this solution in the back of your mind because it is very simple. And as you can see, it makes your websites look a lot more appealing. And honestly, the worst thing that's going to happen is if you do apply this property to your website or application and a user visits your site in one of the unsupported browsers, then simply they're just not going to have that balance effect. But sooner or later, this property will be available inside of all modern browsers. So I really wouldn't worry about that too much. Now, for all my Tailwind users out there, as you can see for this application, I use Tailwind. And you might be thinking, well, why would you want to come down here and specifically target that H1 or paragraph tag and apply this property? It would probably be a lot easier if we could just add a custom class and follow the same structure as we do when using Tailwind. But at the time of creating this video, Tailwind does not have a class yet for the text wrap of balance. 
So what you can do is head over to your Tailwind file. So we have a tailwind.css file. And here inside of our layer utilities, I just went ahead and created a new class called text wrap balance. And in here I just set the text wrap property to balance. And instead of targeting these selectors, what we can do is then just use our class that we created called text wrap balance. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you're able to learn something new. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new for more content like this. And let me know what your thoughts are on this new property. Personally, this is something I've been waiting a while for. As I mentioned earlier, it's a common problem that would come up in a lot of projects that I work on. And it's going to be great having such a simple one-line solution for this. But anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.